Hello there, this is Imi. This is a video for members only. Uh, so, I <clears throat> was just looking at the charts and I thought I want to look at them and I want to talk about them. So, let's record it. Looking at the gold chart from yesterday, um, I did not trade it, but I'm thinking about how I could have traded it benefit of hindsight right but uh, I think the reason I didn't trade is because I wasn't really paying attention the rest of the day uh, still doing a lot of stuff in the background but if I was looking at it uh, then in the the pre-market around you know before London or during the London session if I looked at it uh, this would have given me clue and probably when price went up I would have lost interest so if I wasn't trading the afternoon I would not have caught it so that's what it is but but the setup is pretty good so let's go to the daily chart now in the daily chart we knew we knew that it's been going up and it had double divergence and see this one here connects to this one and one here connects to this one and then there's a, a little hidden divergence here so obviously something was coming and then we have these telltale signs of these big candles. So this huge candle is the 5th of September. Now let's go down. And that big candle is a wave 3 here. So when the wave 3 happens, it will f be probably followed by the end of the 3 the next day or a continuation. And as you know, we are only interested in one, two, three days of wave three. In this occasion, we have, let's say, actually a, a, a day and a half, but even up till this strong move up, we would think of it as a three, and then this puts an end to the three. Uh, but the AO doesn't cross zero line still, because I think it just went up too fast and then came back. So it became like a huge box, but it was a PC. So PC confirms that this is probably... So, um, this this bit is the three of three, so this would be one, two, three, four, five. Let's actually go into there. I love doing this. Let's go to M15. So how many bar candles do we have? We have, yeah, we have 27. So when we go to M15, it's going to be 100 candles. So pretty good count there for the Elliott wave rules. And as you can see. When this day was a three, the news, and then the next day, you obviously have the famous setup. Doesn't really go too much, uh, but clearly you can see a one, two, three, four, five. All right. So this would be your one, two, and as you can see, a PC here as well, ABC, and even a B trap. This is really interesting. I love doing this. I mean, if this is one and this is two, this gives it away by saying what A, B, C. So the B trap of wave two, right? And then A, B, C. So that's your one, two. And this is your three. And in that you have one, two. And again, when you have this and this, you have the PC here again or the B trap. Well, not the B trap, but the PC ABC. So one ABC, because wave two has ABCs in it. And then the meat of the move, which is the wave three down, and even that has its own structure of one, two, three. And then this becomes a four, and the four of the whole wave as well. And kind of a, trun turn a truncated kind of wave five here comes here and ends. That proves the theory. that we were creating here. I thought this was one, two, three, four, five, and on M15, we have confirmed that it this it was pretty good wave three, and it's confirmed. So this um, completed here, and then the wave four for the entire move starts, which is this move. Uh, so why, why isn't there a clear ABC in this? Because wave four can have many different formats. The two that we recognize is either the ABC, where you create a PC, or the one that is 
completely no waves it just goes flat so we are most interested in the waves that actually like if it came around here and then created a tight box around here like this that will be a lot easier for me to spot so then the next day it didn't happen in London session so obviously if this is like 11 o'clock and if I looked at this chart I would have thought okay it's not going anywhere it's going up so I would have not looked at it again if I came back in the afternoon and checked it this candle was a giveaway as you can see it's an outside it's an outside candle see the high is higher than that one and the low is lower than the, the one to the left and it's a strong bear candle and it's a PC uh, why is it a PC it's a PC because you have the sequence of started from there at this time it, at this point it would have looked like, like as if it's going to go up there kind of stop here and then start going up but it didn't do that instead it came down here retested this level went back up but then did not go all the way up actually created a box and started going sideways and then when it tested it again it failed and then we had a confirmation of the resumption of trend here during the US session and this would give it away so you could actually enter below this pending order here and stop loss there box wouldn't have found at that time the box high but you know this is probably where it's going to form if it continues and then at the end of this third candle here you'd have that box but by that time you'd already be in so you'd be in here and probably got out here if there wasn't a target point so that's that let's look at another one Australian dollar okay so this is oh this is another story in this as well so we saw the Australian dollar uh, kind of let's change the color so it came all the way down very strong but but check this check this this is I mean these candles don't happen just like that they have a story behind them something has fundamentally changed either new buyers have kicked in or the sellers have gone out something has changed and that's why it's there so it's one of the one of the beauties of the market I mean if you understand this pattern uh, this uh, pin bar kind of candles they are very powerful so they are our cue so this at least means that it's either going to reverse or the downtrend is going to take a pause and it did take a pause all the way in August another one again comes here and this is a double confirmation. so this is a B trap right because we have a strong impulse wave down and then a correction and then when it tries to resume here you would be expecting it to continue down for a wave five right but it doesn't do that instead it comes to the same zone gets rejected and there's a strong bull candle so that gives it a way to say you know the, there isn't more sell orders in this area rather profit taking or buy orders going on and then it's retested a third time and then here it's sip as well because it's the start of a new fall uh, season and the start of the month and you have this strong outside candle you could literally go long there stop loss here and target these levels or this level and you won't have to sustain the whole you know if it starts going back you don't have to wait for it to come all the way here on the next day when price starts to go up and it closes there your stop loss on the next day will be here and you can do this on on this chart on the daily and then you know trail the candles around here or you can actually benefit from this you can you can spot this whole pattern see it took a whole month or two months to form but you were watching it and then here you knew what to do so there's another way of dealing with it so now this is your TB the trend bar you go to the hourly chart and we can see that trend bar is here so if you compare this price action 
seed comes here around this level touches it and strongly goes up and at the end of the day it's here if you were in Australian session or uh, in America looking at this shot you could actually have just gone long here stop loss here and just follow the the box if you follow the box you probably get out there with 75 pips at the risk of 15 pips pretty good pretty good another time to get in was on the sixth again you could have gone long here you have a sleeping gator uh, AO close to zero line this is almost like if it's crossed and the gator is sleeping and you have a blue dot box is a little bit big if it was around here uh, then it would be better about 20 pips stop loss and that's it so now we have another one setting up but the problem is we have one two three divergences and that is because we have one two three four five days of wave three see this is what i'm talking about i don't want anything more than three days of wave three so this was three days wave three so that's fine you could have gone long here but as it turns out it's the same wave three actually so if you look at it on the four hour chart oh look at it we have a beautiful um cherry signal it's an outside candle open gator strong up uh, six o'clock uk you would put your pending order there stop loss here 20 pips stop loss and i think it's hit 40 pips so this is this is really nice the 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 hunt signals work really really good on the four hour chart and the daily chart right this is this is very nice so you see one two three four five now with all these green candles i'm not interested uh, looking for a setup one on the hourly here especially because it's you know kind of reversing you never know it might start going sideways and then do that way five down there you know it could i mean it's gone too impulsive but if it starts going sideways like this for the rest of the month which is probably not going to happen or it probably go further up or go down here then if it did that then you could at some point have a wave five down there but who knows all right let's look at the euro pound yesterday had a lovely apple setup so here let's go to the daily again we know what's happening it's been going up it did this bit very strong up and then reversing back so i don't know if you've noticed i'm not really concerned about uh following the trend of the daily when i go to the daily chart i'm still thinking in terms of the hourly chart but the daily gives me the overall picture and then i'm interested in the last five to ten candles and the little bit of story behind it so this chart is moving moving charts whether they go up or down we're interested in it this here is not moving not interested won't look at the hourly charts but even then sometimes they have good setups like for example inside it there could be a three-day setup where you have day one you know something like this one this would have like a strong three down on the hourly chart and the next day would be like a little pullback and the next two days kind of slight wave five down probably a break even so let's go back there right here so we have that pattern again comes down goes back up and this candle gives it away now it's a sip as well because it's the start of the month tries to break the box does not succeed and creates a pin bar here so let's mark this to that area and go to the hourly chart so as you can see that pin bar would normally create this kind of pattern on the hourly chart the price going up getting rejected strongly coming down it is followed by a three down and look at this a lovely cherry and seed signal here have your pending order around the seed or around the cherry and let it go so it probably got kicked out here but the next day again you have a pc cherry my favorite this is the this is the perfect one so you don't have a divergence here right it's a three down you know the story of the daily chart 
that it's not going up because it's been going up quite a lot and now it's reversing or correcting itself and then at London Open you get this strong not just a strong bear candle but it's a cherry candle which is a PC because of this see this stepping down and then it tries to break the sequence of the setting down but it's rejected introduces new sellers at these these levels and gives you this so because it's so close to the box your entry would be below the box stop loss there to our target somewhere around here and it's hit and the same chart gives us another fantastic opportunity the next day which is an apple setup again at 10 o'clock so it's a similar kind of thing but this is a PC for this time frame this would be a PC for a higher time frame because again it's ABC but we don't have to think about this as PC because it's not a PC for this time frame it's ABC if you go to the four hour chart let me just mark it I haven't seen these charts see this see like I said it would be a PC for a higher time frame so again that same pattern uh, you can see the stepping started the stepping going on and then tries to break the stepping sequence but does not succeed instead we are rewarded with a lovely bear candle so let's go to the hourly again so if if you were trading the four-hour chart you'd had that PC to trade but on this as you know that a PC of a higher time frame would be an apple of a lower time frame this is the fractal geometry and you have an apple signal which is a perfect pin bar as well which is beautiful so you have your first half risk here the second half risk here entry here and then obviously as the day ended and it started going to strong strong strongly going up you probably get out here or you probably then left it running obviously this one would be a break even and then the, the other half would be exited here but if you had a target point i don't know if we had a good target for this but sometimes wave fives kind of run short and it's, check this i haven't checked i haven't touch the second leg and as long as you put it like this like I did let me do it again so if you go there and start from here and end at the peak of wave 3 and before you have touched the other one this will always be at the 50% retracement and let me just confirm it for you so this is retracement as you can see it's always going to be 50% so when the wave 4 is less than 50 percent it's about 38 percent usually if you don't touch that one this will become a very good tiger zone one for for you but we can't always do that because it's not always the case so it's best to always bring it here obviously yes if your target point was around here just above target zone it would have missed it by like 10 or 15 pip 10 10 or 8 pips and sometime it happens um yes some of the pound pairs were really nice hey okay so this is the pound dollar the cable it created the same kind of pattern so you have one two three days of wave three and around here and then you have like a one day of wave four and then you get a, a nice apple setup so if you had your apple at let's say 50 pip stop loss and it all yes probably either missed it or touch your 2 hour target around there so that's another one yesterday was fantastic similar stuff we didn't get a i don't know why but i think probably this high has gone above the green line for some reason yes probably it has and that's why it's not an apple but the box is pretty close so you would still have like a 50 pip stop loss and probably hit your target point today Oh, the pound Swizzy it was a perfect setup one. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect setup one. So let's look at it again. 
when you have a wave 3 followed by a pull bike type of wave 4 where you have ABCs and this is a, a really cool ABC in this like this is the A down B up with a with a B trap or a PC and it comes down ABC so this is a pull pull back type of wave 4 that's where we look for apples but when you have Um, a wave 4 which creates a tight box and a sleeping gator then you get a setup one so here you'd have 50 pip stop loss 100 target point bang it hit it pretty good day yesterday for trading unfortunately I wasn't around right so that's gone to 20 minutes so I'll just stop it here um, I hope you learn something from this